Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. As I continue with the Agora Models Shelby GT500 Super Snake, I am on pack five. Now, in pack five, we have eight issues, stages 31 through 38. Now, we're going to have a lot to do in those eight stages, and I'm going to separate those in separate videos, and then at the very end, I'm going to put them all together for you in one video so you can, you can have that available too. So, I'm super excited because if you look here, this is what we've completed all the way up through, through pack four. This is the chassis here, and of course all the associated parts that we built in all the other packs. Uh, I got those on the bench, and I'll show you those here in a second. So, without further ado, let's get started on Stage 31. who can take the cars right up to the maximum. And here's the other parts that we've completed for all four packs previously. And uh, you can see we have the front nose clip, which is done, and it's beautiful. We also received a very nice uh, polishing cloth. We got two of the doors that are done. And these are just fantastic. And both of the front seats are completed. And we have a little bit of the suspension component here that we're going to start installing on the suspension. So I already showed you the chassis in the intro video. So let's get started on stage 31. Here's the parts pack for stage 31. And looks like we received some front suspension components. So let me take these out and we will get a closer look. If you haven't done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. It's definitely an investment and you won't lose your money on this. It's a worth every penny. I'll be right back. Here's a close-up of those parts. We received the stabilizer bar and suspension arms and this is made of plastic. We also received two suspension pins and I'm going to show you uh, how those install here in a little bit. And the screws we received are MDO2 and MPO3. So in order to get started with this we'll need to bring the chassis over here and we'll put that upside down on the bench and begin the build with that. Also I would recommend a good set of uh, pliers for these pins to insert the pins in. This, this, these are plastic tip type pliers and you can find these on my Amazon store. They will uh, prevent us from doing any marring or scratching on our painted surfaces on the chassis. And then also we're going to need from previous pack are uh, suspension arms that we put together there so we'll have those ready also. Let's get started. Alright we're going to put in this front suspension piece and it simply slots into these two components right here and the front pieces go to where these holes are. So it's simply going to go in just like that. And we have these uh, pins that we install uh, one side of the pin is rough and the other side is smooth and we're going to go ahead and install it from the front and just get them started just like that. Take my pliers that I showed you earlier and we're going to squeeze that down. There's one. And I'll do the other side. Once again, the rough edge on this side. Feed it through the hole. 
line it up. There it is. All right, so that's how that looks. We'll flip it over. And we're going to put MP03 screws in on the front here. And it has a large lip on it. Going into plastic. And it just, it's not tight. It gives the suspension a little bit of movement. And there you go. Turn it over again so we can see how this functions. And off the side camera you can see how the suspension moves a little bit there along with the front. So that's the way it needs to look. Alright, next we take our stabilizer bar and we hook it up to the lower suspension. And that's going to slide in to there, just like that. And that's all we do with that. We really don't attach it. It just kind of slides in there. It's not uh, permanently uh, fixed right now. We'll take our MD-02 screws and put those aside. I'll be right back. And that completes stage 31. It was a lot of fun installing this suspension component up front here. And we're getting everything lined up and ready to go for the steering and the rest of the front suspension. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for all notifications. If you haven't done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. You can actually purchase the whole kit in one purchase. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.